Hi there and welcome back to an Optimized Press Clubhouse update and this is the first of three videos and we're going to be looking at a landing page template. So here you have it on the screen, this is the sundown landing page template and as you can see it's lovely and bright, nice and blue colour, we've got this lovely template image on the background here and as always you could swap that out with something for yourself related to your event or whatever it is you are marketing. Uh, this template itself has a few customizations with the rounded CSS corners. We've shown you that before and how you can tweak it and change that, whether you want more of a radius, you know, more of a rounded edge on them. Um, it's using a little custom image here as well. And again, you could uh, put in your own image, maybe change the text off this image. You know, you could take it into an image editor and change it, make some of the text you know, more related to your own event. Um, we've put in the video here, so we're using obviously a video landing page. We've got this lovely blue font color and it matches the blue button color which sort of helps with all the blue in the background image that we've got so it brings in that nice blue and keeps it nice and fresh looking blue is a very good trustworthy color to use on your landing pages um, obviously going down let's look at the button we've got this um, nice vertical six pixel sort of padded border along the bottom giving it that like underline effect and if we click on it We've got the overlay optimizer, again, bringing the blue into the button here, so keeping that same contrast throughout the template. And you, as always, you can do what you want with these overlays, whether you put in some more text and maybe another button that just clicks through to another opt-in form. Best thing to do is try and test things, change things around, test, see what works best for you. Um, obviously, the overlay optimizer, just with the, the two-step process, does convert well if you're just capturing leads. So it pops up like this, and it gives you, we've put in the, the opt-in form here. But this itself is a beautiful template. I mean, it could be used in so many different ways, very multi-purpose. If you did switch out the background image, you could change it and use it as something completely different. I'm going to show you something how it looks on mobile, because what you might be thinking is, this image here, if it's got an arrow pointing in, pointing in, how would it look on a mobile? So let's jump over to see how it looks on the mobile version. Okay, so here is the sundown template. I'm looking at it on a mobile device here, and you can see how it looks. Now you'll notice straight away that image that I mentioned earlier with the little arrow pointing in is set to disappear on mobile devices. So it means it doesn't look distracting in the way, it's not still showing on the template. That's a key thing inside Optimize Press, the elements, every element you can control whether you want it to show on tablets or mobile devices. And this is a prime example of uh, how to use that correctly. So you're using it on the full desktop screen, you know, there's an arrow pointing in and that wouldn't look right on mobile. So you can see how it looks here. Let's scroll down. Let's actually flip it into landscape mode as well. Look, and we'll scroll down. You can see how it looks. The background image looks good there. Here's the button. Let's click on that. Up pops the overlay optimizer. You could scroll down, enter in your name and email here. And you can just see it looks great on mobile. Everything's responsive. Doesn't matter what device you're looking on. If you do make changes to these templates and you edit some of the CSS code, you want to go and check it on another device or another browser to make sure you haven't messed around with anything. If you're using the templates actually out of the box exactly as they are, then don't worry, we've obviously tested them all. But um, we know some people do tweak things and they wonder why it doesn't look the same, usually because they've edited some CSS or they've changed something or maybe even made a mistake in some of the code. So if you do make changes, just be sure to test it before you go live with the templates. So here we are back on the desktop version of the template and you can see that image is back in place again now. And that's the key thing here, you wanna be able to hide that on mobile. So that's the example of showing you how it looks on a mobile device. Now we've got another two templates in this series, so we're gonna go and look at them now.